You know, one business or one area of business where they seem determined to not take responsibility for their actions and instead blame their customers would be the airlines as an industry as a whole. When they double book a seat, instead of looking at how the hell do we have a system that allows two different people at two different times to book the same seat, and then when that mistake does happen, own up to the mistake and do everything they can reasonably to make it right, the airline will try to forcibly remove somebody from said seat without any thought or care or concern for the consequence of what that missed flight could potentially mean to that person who all along has a right to believe that that seat belongs to them because they have a ticket that they've paid for that says it does belong to them. The airline will try to defend themselves and their actions by blaming the customer for their behaviors. Everything that happened is directly the fault of the airline, and yet the airline refuses to take responsibility. And how do you know? Because ultimately, this continues to be an issue. It continues to happen. If you really were taking blame, responsibility, and accountability for what you did, you would fix it. Just saying. And another business that seems determined to follow that successful airline business model is professional wrestling. Specifically, but not exclusively, the WWE. Where instead of looking within and owning up to shortcomings, mistakes, deficiencies, weaknesses, problems, we blame the customers and we blame the fans. And this is just going full retard, to borrow a oral phrase from Tropic Thunder. That's exactly what it is. I mean, you have big corporations that have entire teams of social media people whose one mission is to peruse social media throughout the day and look for that company's name and mentions and make sure that something bad doesn't go viral. But yet, here you have companies like the airlines, the WWE, that go out of their way to blame the customers for their own shortcomings, their own deficiencies. It's crazy. Like, I look at the example this week that was provided. You've got a fan that tweeted during Raw, Ugh, not again, I'm tired of seeing this feud, no one cares anymore, specifically referencing Finn Balor versus Bray Wyatt. Bingo. Then somebody else responds. This describes how I felt about Bray Wyatt for about three years. Bingo, bingo. To which, of course, Gold does, because apparently he doesn't have anything better to do with this time other than blocking people on Twitter. Responds and says, these kids are our future. Quit your bitching, suck it up, and try to enjoy our product. Then follows that up by saying, try and enjoy the product we put on for you. That's all I'm saying. It's a TV show. You're not always going to get what you want. Of course. For a company that is so sensitive and people that are so sensitive and so busy drinking the Kool-Aid that they are unwilling to accept any type of feedback from the outside, the type of feedback that companies typically would value from customers because ultimately the customers are the customers and without the customer paying you money for your product, you have no business. Instead of trying to get feedback from them and listening to the feedback, and considering the feedback, we blame the messenger, we blame the feedback, and get defensive about why things suck as bad as they do. It's ridiculous. Talking about these kids are our future, if they're our future, then what the hell does that say about the future? If Finn Balor's not really a kid, he's as old as I am. And Bray Wyatt's been on WWE TV for several years and still can't fully and completely get over the right way, both do his own doings, but mostly because of the company. And if these kids are our future, what does it say about the company that can't make these guys into massive stars when for all intents and purposes for differing factors, Bray Wyatt should be filling that Undertaker type of role. He should already be a massive star with how much he's been pounded down our throats in television over the years. And Finn Balor coming in with a huge following that they had from the independent scene in New Japan, he should be a massive star for this company. Neither one of these guys are, and ultimately it's the fault of WWE. So these kids are our future. Again, what does that say about the future, gold dust, you dumb dick? Quit your bitch and no. How about as somebody like you that's been in wrestling for 20 plus years, how about you and all of your peers back there quit your bitch and stop bitching about Enzo Amori for one, but more so stop bitching at fans about what the hell they say. Like I couldn't imagine telling people that came on my comments and my social media telling them to quit bitching all the time. 
Sometimes I'll go back at them and sometimes I just read it. Sometimes I look at it and sometimes I listen to it because you know what? They're providing me feedback. Of course I'm going to take it into consideration and listen from time to time. Not all the time, but sometimes. I'm not just going to automatically blame them. That's ridiculous. And if you want to get better, which I would hope the company would want to get better as your viewership continues to decline and you have, no matter how you spend a half empty, half full arena as the bottom line is, half the seats in the arena are not filled. Maybe to, after so many years of people trying to suck it up and enjoy your product, maybe they've reached a point of no return where they just don't see a point in doing it. So no, it's not quit our bitching. It's called quit your bitching and figure out how to be better trying to enjoy the product we've put on for you. That's all I'm saying. All the fans are trying to say is be better. Your whole thing about it's a TV show, you're not always going to get what you want. Okay, nobody's saying that that's the case. We're not always going to get what we want. And ultimately, wrestling shouldn't be that way. It is a variety show. It should provide something for everybody. The problem is it provides too little somethings for far too few people. Like who can actually sit there realistically and look at the current WWE product and not think Raw is consistently the drizzling shits. SmackDown Live is consistently the drizzling shits. And the product as a whole is the drizzling shits. Because it is. Stories that suck. Many things that happen have no purpose, meaning, or consequence. The characters are terrible. A lot of these guys lack personality, lack charisma, lack mic skills. And then the WWE puts them in positions where there's 50-50 booking where nobody ever truly gets over. And when somebody does start to get any elements of getting over, if they don't want them getting over, they will intentionally put the screws to them and do everything they can to sabotage and ruin them. Not to mention the sheer incompetence of what they do with so many of these guys. For a variety of different reasons that we've talked about ad nauseum in the past. No, gold dust. Fans should be saying whatever the hell they want. And people like you and your company should shut your fucking mouths and listen. You have, as they say, one of these and two of these. And ultimately, as the paying customer, what we say is more important than what you say. And as a business, this is... And what goes into this is far more important, especially if you actually accept that feedback and utilize that feedback is vastly more important than anything that will come out of here. I couldn't imagine in my career right now if I sat there and every time somebody gave me some type of feedback, positive or negative, I had some type of snipe complaint or bitch about everything and shifted any and all accountability and responsibility away from myself. There are times where I have to take feedback for something that wasn't even my fault. That I wasn't even involved in. And you know what? That's tough shit. That's the way the real working world works, you pussies. Stop blaming your customers. Start blaming yourselves. Start taking ownership of your faults, your problems, and your deficiencies. Maybe if the fans are telling you, like these guys, that they haven't cared about Bray Wyatt in three years and they don't care about this story, maybe that's a bigger indication of a freaking problem. The fans are not the problem, Gold Dust. Guys like you are. The wrestling business is the problem. But of course, we're the pussies and we're the marks and we're the crybabies here. Believe me, people. If you don't believe that the people in wrestling and the wrestlers are the biggest marks and the biggest crybabies, then I don't know what the hell to tell you. Because I will promise you this. While you sit there and go out of your way to defend punk asses, and pussies like gold dust, they will be blocking you on Twitter quicker than you can possibly think. All the shit people say about me, all the times people disagree about me with me about shit, fair or not, I'm not blocking them. I'm not calling them every name on the sun. I'm not telling them to just shut up and enjoy it. Just shut up and watch. Only in wrestling would people say shit like this and think it's okay. It hasn't been a great business model, Gold Dust, for the airlines. Maybe professional wrestling should figure out a different tact and a different way to go about doing things before, at the end of the day, there aren't any fans left to blame.